Hello and welcome to this, the very first episode of the Investment Association's brand new podcast series exploring everything to do with artificial intelligence in the investment management industry. My name is James King and I'm a senior policy advisor here at the IA and I'm delighted to be joined today by two colleagues. We have John Allen, the head of innovation and operations here at the IA and Jill Painter, the head of engine. That's the IA's fintech hub and accelerator. Hi, James. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. Thank you both for being here. So we'll waste no time whatsoever. We'll get straight into it. And perhaps I can turn to you, John, uh, with a rather basic question. What is AI and why is it important to the investment management industry? So artificial intelligence uh, is essentially the, the application of intelligence to wide ranging data sets that would otherwise require the involvement of, of humans. Um, and we see it as significant for uh, society, for uh, our firms as businesses, uh, but more specifically to the investment management sector as it will be able to apply greater value to that data, extract real benefit for consumers and for firms in the future. Um, there are a wide range of potential applications within the investment management sector, and that's what we would really like to focus in on through this series. Fantastic. And Jill, if I could turn to you, um, could you tell us a bit more about Engine and uh, your particular interest in AI and what you're doing with fintechs? Uh, thank you, James. Um, well, very excited to talk about Engine. So Engine, as you mentioned, is the Investment Association's fintech hub and accelerator. And what differentiates us from other hubs is the fact that we purely concentrate on innovation within assets and wealth management. And it's very exciting times for AI um, as it covers every aspect of everyday life. And with FinTech, FinTech is all about driving positive change and AI is very much at the heart of that. Um, and in a world which requires data and uh, data driven decision making, AI and the FinTechs providing that solution are integral to the success of our sector. So we're utilising AI uh, to transform decision making, to look at por how portfolios are managed and to enable fintechs to access, to engage and to share with our sector the opportunities that exist. And we're working with some really exciting firms um, through Engine, whether it's uh, Bluefire AI, uh, a previous cohort member, Orbitfin, Causa Lens, Sesam, uh, Placemake, Cloud AI, just a few that are operating within our ecosystem. But we have over 150 fintechs, most of which utilize aspects of AI. We have an industry panel made up of 28 professionals of their organizations, again, are interested and utilizing aspects of AI. And we're now working with 12 international centers as well. So jurisdictions across the world that, again, are focusing on the importance of AI and the impact on our sector. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, you'll have to forgive me for asking this next question, but I suspect it's one that some of our listeners might be asking themselves. With all of the fantastic content that's out there at the moment, um, looking at AI, why should listeners spend their time listening to this podcast series? And what do they stand to gain that they might not necessarily get elsewhere? Sure, well, we'll, we'll be looking at the investment management specific aspects here. So, um, you know, we're gonna get a, a wide range of expert speakers who will have different perspectives, whether they're from investment management firms, suppliers who operate, uh, uh, within the ecosystem uh, or the fintechs that, that Jill's already outlined uh, to look into the specific use cases um, of investment management. We'll also be looking at the regulatory uh, developments that are happening at the moment so that we uh, are able to provide uh, guidance and insight to firms on what the regulatory environment looks like now but also would potentially look like in the future. Uh, and each one, each uh, episode will focus on a specific actionable insight that firms can then take away and apply back in their organisation. Fantastic. Uh, Jill, did you have anything to add to that? Um, just that I'm really excited about the opportunity for our solution providers and, uh, you, you know, the the chance to talk openly about the impact on ESG, consumer duty, financial crime and how AI is actively helping uh, increase efficiencies and reduce the risks around those. Super. 
And uh, John, if I can come back to you, what are some of the additional themes that we'll be looking to explore in upcoming episodes? There's a wide range uh, that we'll be looking to do. So both from the opportunity side, but also the risk side, because you know firms do need to bear that in mind. So from the opportunity side, we'll be exploring AI within the portfolio, portfolio construction investment management process, but also from a sort of client engagement and distribution uh, angle, um, and then looking more specifically at sort of back office op uh, uh, operations and how it can be applied mm -hmm. in in day to day work, and then from the sort of considerations and risks angle, building on the work that you've done, particularly on cyber security and resilience. Um, you know what do firms need to consider when they're looking at applying AI uh, internally, uh, and then general risk practices and and the compliance. Um, Compliance obviously will be a moving target as the government's white paper and intentions uh, mm -hmm. that the Bank of England, the, the FCA will be taking forward. So we'll be uh, also looking in, in particular at how that's uh, going to develop over the coming years. Brilliant. And I mean, from my point of view, um, it's looking also at, you know, keen that we also look at the legal liability aspect, um, bias and fairness and our uh, solution providers have done a lot of work in that space alongside the compliance and the regulation and um, vendor management is key you know organizations are looking to work more and more with third parties and these solutions provide again that real competitive advantage so addressing um, the, the vendor management and the IRP requirements is something that I'm really looking forward to. Fantastic well it sounds like there's certainly a lot to get stuck into and for our listeners, I hope that's piqued your interest and you'll be interested in following along as we regularly release the episodes, which you'll be able to access on the IA's website, as well as on Spotify and um, iTunes, I believe. Uh, so please do um, come along and listen to the next episodes. I'll finish just with a bit of a shameless plug for um, our report that we published last year in conjunction with EY and Clifford Chance. And this was a really practical report for firms titled AI in the investment management industry. And it um, explores current use cases that investment management firms are already deploying in the marketplace. But it also provides a bit of a guide for firms as to how to get going, exploring issues like governance, the AI lifecycle, legal and compliance issues. Uh, so it's still completely relevant today. And we'll make sure that we provide a link to that report um, underneath wherever you're accessing this podcast from. Uh, so with that, uh, thank you very much to Jill and John, and thank you for listening. I do hope you join us for the next episode.